Do you want to make yourself a Viking shield for less than $50? Or a Viking style shield, so none of you nerds type in the comments. It's not historically accurate. It's not. It's for fun. It's for sparring. It's for training. It's for decoration. And if you build it good enough, it could be for the apocalypse. And yeah, this is how you make it. Alright bro, here are the three items you're going to need for this project. I mean, of course, tools and screws and stuff, but we're going to firstly need a belt, an old belt. This actually I just found in my closet. You can probably get one of these th things for like five bucks. Honestly, it's not even necessary, but it helps uh, in the end. Secondly, you want a buckler. This is a here, cold steel buckler I got it on Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks. And then one of these you want to get. I got this at Home Depot. This is basically, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like a table kind of thing. It's like 17 bucks right here. And so in total, this is only like 50 bucks. I got the absolute max. We're just going to need the buckler to start off. in the middle. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill some holes so that I can cut this out, really. I don't have a big enough drill bit to get this in one shot, and I do not have a jigsaw, so what we're just going to be doing is we're going to be drilling a series of holes, and then I'm going to cut it out with, I don't know, maybe a hacksaw, something of the sort. Bro, I just realized I'm actually dumb. Look at this. Where am I going to screw into? Bro, I'm actually brain dead. How did I not see that? Don't do that. Oh my god. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. We can still save it. God damn. Oh, bro, I'm literally brain dead. Alright. What you want to do is instead of drilling on the outer circle because this what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill like things here screws here and put screws here so it reinforces it but if i knock this entire thing out what am i going to do that with all right all right i'm i'm literally brain dead i'm so sorry about that what am i going to do instead of doing this you want to make a smaller circle on the inside where this was gonna go not this whole thing if that makes any sense oh bro man <laughs> can't believe i just did that oh well we all make mistakes right here we will do, do this <sighs> yeah that'll work and then i'll do it on the outside okay This all done. Just 
fits nice and good. Cool. Sorry about that. This fits nice and good, right here if you can see. Right in the crevice. So I'll hold on to that. And yeah, honestly, we're almost done. This is a pretty simple project. So what we're gonna do for the rest of this build is I'm actually just gonna sand down this whole thing, make it a little lighter and make it a little less um, uh, blocky. And then we're just gonna put on the top of the buckler and then screw everything down and paint it. And that's it, real simple. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to assemble everything, see how it feels, make sure I got it right, and then I'm going to disassemble it, paint it, and then I then reassemble it and then I'll be done. So yeah, let's assemble it, see how she feels. Alright, so having it in my hands, it feels sturdy, even with just four sc temporary screws in. It feels actually really sturdy and like it's not going to fall apart, which is a good, great sign. And, oh, it does feel a little heavy though. Like, I'm, to be fair, I've never really held like an actual shield, but it, it's a little cumbersome when I'm moving it around. So, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to shave this down because it's still a little thick. So, what I'm going to do if I'm going to see if I can smooth this or uh, sand this down so that I can get a little more off of the uh, shield itself so I can move it around quicker. And I mean, this thing's still really thick, even if I take off like however this much, I'd say, then that's still like a lot. And I don't think any arrows or any like swords are gonna get through this. I'm feeling this thing after I got it all sanded down, and it's feeling much better. Like, it's not like excessively like light, but I got it down a little bit, just enough where it's like pretty usable, I'd say. And worst comes to worst, you know, I can always make another one. This board is only 17 bucks. I don't think it's gonna really, you know, cost me too big of an issue. And that's the great thing about this project and this build, is that if you mess up, it's not too fatal. You know, you can always get another piece of wood. It's only 17 bucks. These, this is a very simple starting build for a lot of good people. So, hey, no, down, down, go.
Viking shield. It's fantastic. I love it. It's great. And it really works because it's durable. And I feel like I could really use it in combat. Your training, your sparring, or whatever the hell you're going to use it for. You could probably do it. I know I said I was going to paint it, but I like the way the stain looks. If you really think I, think I should paint it, please comment below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. And I'll probably make a separate video. Like, subscribe, and fuel the algorithm gods by leaving a comment. Thanks for watching, and uh, farewell, friends.